What up, people? Hi. Are you like me? You hate watching Twitch in a web browser. I know, me too. Did you know that there's a way that you can watch Twitch streams using a media player and an app instead of the web browser? Let me show you how. All right, you're gonna need a few things. The Streamlink Twitch GUI, AKA GUI, AKA graphical user interface. You're going to need the plugin for Streamlink and you're gonna need a, a media player of your choice. Easy peasy. So first and foremost, this is the website you're looking for. If you scroll to the bottom, you hit download. It's going to take you here. Scroll down, grab the Windows 64 installer if you're on 32-bit. <laughs> and the next thing you're going to need is the Streamlink plugin. So if you go down here and click the blue here, oh my God, we're there. You're going to want the Windows binary installer, stable release, GitHub page, and download the executable. The next thing you're going to need is a media player of choice. I like using media player classic. It's lightweight, it's customizable, and it's an all around player. It's lightweight. It's quick. It sports a lot of codecs. It's great. Um, most people usually go for VLC media player. If that's what you're into, go for it. All right. First things first, take your stream link, uh, plugin executable, run that. We don't give a shit about you. <laughs> next, next. Stop for just me. We don't care about any of this. Just hit finish. I accidentally renamed this VLC, but this is the, <laughs> this is the Streamlink GUI installer. Info, run anyway. Now that you've installed it, go ahead and open it. This is what it looks like. I'm currently watching dark mode. You can use light mode if you're a psychopath. The only basic settings you need to get started is you go to the settings, you go to player, and you make sure that you choose your media player of choice. Again, mine's media player classic. And if it doesn't automatically select the correct executable, you need to find the proper executable. <laughs> and now when you go back to streams that you follow, and you click on Jovian, it launches in source. And now as you're noticing, there's no chat. If you're looking for chat, if you come back to this window and you hit the little chat button, it opens up chat for you in a window of your choice. Have a great day.